What's up YouTube? Welcome back to day four of our 15 day streak going up to and through Bash to the Future 6. We are getting a bit of a late start today. It's about 4.30 right now in the afternoon and I'm just now getting to the shop. Michael had to work today and so I took that opportunity to edit the first three videos of this series. So hopefully you guys have checked that out. If not, I'll throw a link to the playlist right up there and uh, you guys can check that out, get caught up with the first three days of this run up to Bash to the Future. Yesterday we did kind of get into a little bit of trouble. The landlord here was not happy about us being here at 10 o'clock. He knows that uh, about our deadline and everything, so he's been really respectful, really chill about that up until this point. Um, but last night he was a little, little peeved, it seemed like. Out of respect for the landlord who lives here on site, just across the driveway from us, uh, we need to start wrapping things up a lot earlier and try to make it so that we can do some of these projects you know, at Michael's house. So I think it's definitely a reality that this thing could be running, uh, that this thing could start on its own by tomorrow. Um, and I'm quite hopeful that it could start today. I'm not gonna, not gonna say it will, but it's a possibility. So what I'm gonna start working on today is getting Michael's hood trimmed so that it will fit over his manifold. I hope that he remembered to go get the uh, hardware for his hood spacers, but I did forget to text him, so he may not remember that. All right, so Michael showed up. What's up? We just installed the bleeder block off plate. You guys remember this thing with that senseless cap? We just replaced it with that. Tapped a hole in the middle so that if we need to bleed it, we can pull that out, bleed it, but uh, we do have a coolant funnel that we can use off the radiator, which should work plenty fine. So I was able to widen up the holes on the hood and uh, Michael did get all the stuff to for the hood spacers. So now I'm gonna make those hood spacers so we can start test fitting this and just trimming the little bits and pieces that we still need to trim. Since we're probably gonna get out of here early today, I'm gonna get the grounds all situated and then bring the switch panel with me. Uh, get it all done at my house. So we just ended up cutting it out like that. The idea is that we'll go ahead and just cut out a piece of aluminum and rivet that on. We'll cut it out so it fits perfectly over the, uh, the intake runners. But for now, that's what we're gonna run. So right now what I'm doing is I'm trying to figure out mounts for the radiator so that I can start working on getting that upper bar done. So this is where the radiator is gonna sit. It's not exactly where we wanted it to sit, but for now it's gonna have to work. Um, it is pretty close to the, the motor, so it's gonna be some interesting shit. Get some hoses for this, but we're gonna have to make something work. It is now it fits like perfectly right up into that little cutout there in the middle. And we gotta raise it up about a quarter inch anyways to so we can get a hose on and off of it on the bottom. It's sitting on the hose, uh, the outlet of the radiator. So. All right, so the GoPro just said file repaired, so I don't know if that last clip didn't uh, didn't come through. If not, radiator's placed. It fits. Uh, we're gonna be using hoses that we already had, so this hose is one of the stock ones from the queue. We're not exactly sure which one. It was just in the pile of parts, and it happened to work for the upper hose if we cut it down. Uh, for the lower hose, we're gonna be using an SR lower hose. Uh, and pretty much if we take an inch off of each end of this, it fits pretty damn good around everything. So uh, that'll work. It saves us a hassle, saves us some money. At least with this lower hose, Michael can easily pick up a silicone one if this hose, you know, turns out to be shit or something. So this is the Q hose. It just barely clears the VTC solenoid. This is the SR lower. We did flip this uh, stock little hose thing that was on the VH. It used to come out over this way. We just flipped it around um, and that met up perfectly. Shaved about an inch off of each end of that hose. We cut this much off of the Q hose and it'll work. So. That was gonna be the struggle, was trying to find hoses. I'm surprised Aaron was able to find hoses here. In the shop, too. Yeah, in the shop. So we're gonna throw on Michael's hoses for his fuel lines because it is getting close to that cutoff time. We do wanna leave early 
and out of respect for Dave. It is a short video, a short day. You know, this, this here was a big step of this project. Try to bend that tomorrow. When I get here, I'll probably leave the notching for Michael because I hate doing that. I've been like thinking about it. I might wrap this bumper tomorrow. It's supposed to be a lot cooler tomorrow. If I get here in the morning, I don't know. I might, I might not, I don't know. We're just gonna throw these uh, fuel lines on and uh, wrap it up for the night. All right guys, well that was definitely a short day out at the shop, only about three and a half hours or so. We were able to get Michael's radiator in there pretty decently. We'll get that front radiator support on and that'll allow us to put the hood pins through the hood and all of that good shit. Michael got his fuel lines hooked up down there. So once we get this thing wired up, we'll figure out which one of these is feed and hook it up. Michael's gonna continue working on the harness at home and I will uh, probably have this done and bolt everything up and get it started. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Again, short video today. I'll be out here early tomorrow. I don't have any more videos to edit. So I'll be out here and uh, we'll get this thing ready to go and hopefully get this thing started and start getting shit done. Thanks for tuning in to day four of our 15 day streak. We now have eight days left until bash. So get ready for some drift carnage in a couple, in a week. We'll see you later. The wires ran real good today. Uh, the one thing that the way he said. <laughs> <laughs> what we got done yesterday. What the fuck did we get done yesterday? All right, Michael showed up. Michael's gonna continue working on the harness at 